Hey guys, so in this video I want to clarify some things about warm lights, cool shadows, or cool lights, warm shadows. Kind of that rule that you hear thrown around a lot. I want to clear up a few things and we're going to talk about that in this video, so check it out. Alright, welcome everyone. My name is K. Michael Russell. I am a comic book colorist and welcome to my YouTube channel. So when most people think warm light, cool shadows, Let's explain what warm and cool means first, because it changes <laughs> depending on your artwork. But generally speaking, if someone describes a color as warm in artwork, then you're talking about this style of the color wheel, the yellows and oranges and reds and purples. But I think what confuses some people is you can have colors that are relatively warmer that aren't any of these colors. Okay, You can get into grays that are warmer. You can get into really desaturated grays that will appear warmer against a lot of cool colors. And by the same token, generally speaking, these are called your, your cool colors, but at the same time, you can have warm grays that are relatively cooler than the warmest, most intense version of these colors. And when you look at a color wheel, most people don't look at it like this. You know, this is a color wheel with the saturation included. So you've got your pure colors going around the edge, and then you have, going toward the center, these colors are getting less and less saturated. So when you hear the, 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 the quote-unquote rule or the guideline that a color, that a, say, a warm light gives a cool shadow, it might just mean that it is a cooler version of that color. Okay, So a lot of artists kind of travel around the color wheel this way, they say, okay, well, I'm painting with orange. I need a cool shadow, so I'm going to get in the car and drive over to blue, and here's my shadow. But there's a better way to get to blue, which is through here, okay? You're cutting across the color wheel through this desaturated part, okay? This will make more sense once we look at some examples. And by the way, because someone's going to ask, this is Magic Picker. I'll put a link in the description. It's my favorite color picker because it has a color wheel and the box thing, which I don't think Photoshop does just yet. So anyway, first off, I want to thank Brian Neer, I believe is how you say his last name, for this image. I, I, I pulled this off his website. He was kind enough to allow me to use it, so check him out. He does portraits. But it was such a perfect example of what I wanted to bring up today in that we've got this little boy. He's standing in the sunlight. He's got these really warm colors, you know, on the uh, coming from the left side. And then on the right side, you've got cool colors, right? Now, if I were to ask you, well, what color is that on the right side of its face over here, okay? Or our right. And most people would say blue, right? It's a, it's a cool color. It's a cool shadow. The, you know, you got the sky behind him, so it's blue. But let's color pick the sky first. Okay, so the sky is a very desaturated sky blue, uh, baby blue. And, but let's color pick this little reflected blue light over here. And it's gray. It's gray, right? It's almost completely gray. It's actually uh, really close to being completely gray. And even in these parts of his face here, you can kind of see that if we go into the light parts, yeah, we've got warm skin. You can see as his cheeks get red through here, we're starting to add a little bit of saturation. Uh, his lips are kind of a saturated, uh, or kind of a middle red. But as we go into these blue areas that are supposed to be cool shadows, right? These are cool shadows, but they're relatively cooler shadows. They don't necessarily mean you go and get like, you know, this color blue and throw it on there, you know, or, or go down to the color wheel and find like a very saturated blue and start throwing it around. It wouldn't, it wouldn't fit this artwork. It wouldn't fit the scene. I'm not opposed to warm light cool shadows. I use it all the time. And the reason for that is, and it's what uh, Brian explains here in this image, is some of the best contrast you can get in art to me is warm and cool. They, they next to each other, it creates a ton of contrast. And they don't necessarily have to be super warm or super cool. Okay, like this image, again, is a great example of this. These warm colors are not that saturated, number one. They're, they're, they're pretty bright, but they're, it's not this orange, right? And as we go into the other parts, all of this, we're kind of staying in 
the warm part of the color wheel, technically, but again, it's relatively cooler. All right, so I thought it would be a good exercise to sort of map this out on the color wheel, and you guys will see what I mean And when we, when we talk about this, this path across the color wheel. So let's start with the warm part. So this is kind of a, a you know, desaturated orangey color in his skin. And so that's probably somewhere around here. We're not going to have like the exact same colors, but we're going to kind of get it close. So like it's, it's kind of somewhere in here, not quite that bright, but we'll use that as an example here. And then like these warm parts on his cheek. Again, we're kind of getting into, into this area. That's a very close match. You can barely even see it. And then let's start looking at these shadows. Okay, so this shadow, we're, we're getting a little bit oranger and, and still grayer. So it's kind of like going here, give or take. And then on the far side, this supposed cool, <laughs> this, this cool blue is actually green, okay? It's kind of like this lime green gray, okay? So we zoom up on this. You can see that it's a very short path across here, but we didn't go this direction. We're kind of going this direction toward the cool colors. So one of the reasons for this guidance you hear a lot is because in sunlight, for example, let's say this is a, a sunlit uh, scene, the sunlight comes with a bonus light, usually, right? When the sun is up in the sky and it's bright and it's shining on everything, you usually get a blue sky. Well, the blue sky is what's lighting the shadow. This area that's not receiving any sunlight is still being lit. It's just being lit by a massive blue light source that we see most days. <laughs> and that's one of the things I want you guys to take away from this video. A warm light doesn't magically create a cool shadow or vice versa. It's typically the environment is what creates the color of that shadow. It's some secondary light source or some reflected light or the overall general color of the environment that determines the color of your shadow. And if you want to check out some uh, good examples of this, look at candle lit rooms. I just googled candle lit rooms and you'll notice that it's a lot of warm colors and really only warm colors because there's no secondary light source to cool things off. And if you see a picture that has some kind of, you know, cool background, it's it's typically going to be because of uh, you know, some other light source coming from somewhere else other than the candles themselves. And this image from Neskane, I believe is how you say his name. I hope it's how you say his name. I'm a huge fan. Uh, he works for uh, Blizzard, I know, and does a lot of art for them. And uh, this uh, artwork he did for Overwatch, and this is actually what prompted this entire video. <laughs> because I was looking at this and really studying it because I was just blown away by the colors and how it just works so well. <laughs> so... So we've got this character, and if you're not familiar with this scene, you can kind of see a little bit in the background, but this is a desert scene, okay? And so you've got these red, red rocks. I say desert, I don't, not really desert. Like desert is in, you know, the big red rocky areas, and you see, I guess that's called desert. And it's a perfect example of, of what I'm talking about here. So in this scene, we've got, again, we're in the desert, big bright sunlight shining on this character. We've got super warm light sources. When we look at these shadows, they're relatively cooler than the light source, but they're not by the dictionary definition of the, of the, the, the term cool colors. They're not really cool colors, right? Why aren't they really cool? Because we've got sunlight, we've got a blue sky, I thought you just said the blue sky is going to create warm colors. Well, it is. But in this case, think about what she's standing on, okay? She is standing on a huge reflective red, you know, rock, red ground, and it's reflecting back up. So there's always exceptions to these rules. Now, these colors are relatively cooler, okay? So, like, I actually made some swatches earlier. Just on her skin, okay, just picking skin colors. The brightest part, like on the tip of her nose, is very close to white, very, very yellow. And it gets oranger and, and redder in certain areas. And then when we get into these, uh, you know, her cheeks and underneath her, her eye sockets here, like under this area, you know, that's as dark as it gets is kind of this color right here. And it's still very red, okay? Now, some of you guys might be thinking, well, well, wait a minute, look at her hair. Her hair's cool. Well, this is another one of those color relativity 
tricks of the <laughs> tricks of the eye because when we color pick this, even at its coolest part, it's gray. Okay, it's a gray red. Okay, uh, I'm color picking all of this, trying to find anything. Any there's nothing here that's anywhere close to being again a dictionary definition cool color. Okay, it is cooler, but it's not cool. That's the key. Or your your warm shadows with cool highlights should be warmer, okay? Not necessarily warm. And I'm going to temporarily create a lot of contrast on this just to show you guys, just to make this a little bit easier to see. If you focus on these areas, the ones that are facing down, the light source there is the ground in this case. That's why it's that's why it's the color that it is. It's very subtle in the original, but you can see this orange area here and here and here, that's all from the light coming from the bottom, which in this case are really orangey red rocks. So you got to keep that in mind too. So I guess the moral of the story here is make your lights as warm as you like and your shadows as cool as you like, but understand that the difference can be very subtle if you like, and it still works. So I hope this made sense. If you guys have questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. And if there are other art questions you guys have, you want to see videos on, let me know there too. I'll also link in the description my latest rendering tutorial. Uh, for those of you guys that want to know where light and shadows go, I will put a link there. I've just started a new playlist and uh, subscribe so you don't miss the rest of those. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, please check the links in the description for all the different ways you can support my channel. So thanks a lot guys and take care.